All right, thanks for taking the time to, to check this video out. Um, pause, take one second, hit the subscribe button, bottom right there. Um, all right, so where we're at here, we're, we're just north of Ely, Minnesota. We're at the Hegman Lake Pictograph in the Boundary Water Canoe Area, or BWCA. Um, and what I love about the Boundary Waters is there are no motorized vehicles. There are no snowmobiles where we're at. In the summer, there are no boats with, with engines. It's all really your feet and canoes, so it's great. Um, so the pictographs we're going to see here are between 500 and 1,000 years old, um, created by the Native Americans. And they say the Native American population was, was discovered here as far back as 9,000 years. So that's really cool. Now, where do we go? Oh, I see. We've... Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm testing my Solomons out. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. <laughs> so you can actually tell by the trail here. It is heavily used compared to what you would think. I'll, I'll bet we passed. 20 people on the way in and, and out of here most people had snowshoes um, a few people had skis there's really no um, groomed ski trail that we saw the ski trails that we did see were just from uh, self-made from people that did bring their own skis in here I would say um, skis and snowshoes weren't necessarily required because they can be a lot of work um, as you can see the walking here isn't that bad but we did come towards the end of the day so the trail was packed down pretty good um, the concern would be of, of this trail melting on the way back out and then you're walking in slush up to your knees. Um, so definitely take that into consideration. Oh, go ahead. So this is where we wish we would have had skis or snowshoes. This is actually a slush area. Um, I've lived in Minnesota my entire life. I've spent half of my life on the lakes ice fishing. I'm aware of these conditions. Um, really, it's, we have a heavy snow year. There's a lot of snow on the lake, so that, that weight will push um, the ice down or, or cause that heavy effect on it, and water will actually come up through the cracks. So below this slush and snow um, is actually about 8 or 10 inches of water. Um, so this is definitely where those snowshoes or skis would come in handy, but don't worry about these conditions. Um, it's been our the coldest winter for years, so there's probably about two and a half feet of ice underneath this slush. I need to get some workouts in. Yeah, right. Ooh, that was a good one. The slush. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think it's worse if you get off. So that was a fairly quick journey. I'd say it's probably about four miles round trip. Um, the pictograph itself is actually um, a, a humanoid figure, a moose, some sort of dog and, or wolf next to the human. Um, and then actually several canoes. The canoes are up above the, the humanoid and then some sort of X which kind of represents a sun up on top of it. Uh, so yeah, all in all, we walked by probably 20 people. Um, and, and in the Boundary Water Canoe area, which I, I didn't realize, there's about 30 different uh, pictographs all in the Superior, Quetico area. So we're thinking about maybe taking the time and um, visiting some more of these, taking some more videos of them. And the, also the important thing too to remember about the Boundary Water Canoe area, or anywhere in the woods in general, don't leave a trace. Uh, don't litter you'll see no litter I mean most people are pretty conscious about this and, and what's actually surprising too is that this is still there in place it hasn't been vandalized I think it's far enough away where you have to make the effort to get there for, for any uh, vandalism to happen so as we're leaving Ely Ely is one of our probably our top one or two favorite towns in the state of Minnesota we come here two or three four times a year uh, it's a lot of fun to shop here too a lot of outdoor shops this is where most people come to uh, get geared up to head out into the boundary water so you can actually um, rent everything you need this canoes backpacks food i mean you can get entire kits to actually leave from here and go out into the boundary waters so thanks for taking the time to check out this video again stop hit subscribe really important to us um, and see what's next